number 21 to 23. Graph this, give it the graph, write the system of linear inequalities. You need to get your grid points, don't you? So I'm going to put grid points on it. Okay, and I'm going to put grid points on this one. Okay, on this line right here, my y-intercept is, these are going by 2, so this y-intercept is 4. So B equals 4, and M would equal 2. You're going down 4 to the right 2, so that's going to be negative 2 in it. So I'm going down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. So my inequality would be negative 2x plus 4. I'm going to have Y, and it's going to be a solid line, and it's shaded down in it. So that's less than or equal to. Now then let's do this one. It's going to go through the y-axis at negative 4. So b is equal to negative 4. I'm going to have negative 4 at the end. This line is also going down. It's going down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. So my m is negative 2. The lines are parallel, aren't they? It shaded, this line shaded up. So I'm going to have y greater than or equal to because it's solid. So these are my two inequalities. Okay, on this one right here, draw your dots. Let's do this one first, right here, right here. Okay, so I'm going to get my y-intercept first. My y-intercept is negative 4, so I know I'm going to have negative 4 at the end of the equation. Then this line's going down. It's going down 4 and over 2, down 4 and over 2. So my m is negative 2. I'm going to have negative 2x. The line's solid, so it's going to be y, and it's shaded up. So y greater than or equal to. That's that equation. Now then let's do this one. This is a dashed line, so it won't have the equal bar. It crosses right here, and it goes through here, doesn't it? So my y-intercept, the first thing you want to get is your y-intercept. It's negative 2. That means you'll have negative 2 at the end. And then you go up 2 over 4. Up 2 over 4, that's going to be 1 half, isn't it? So I'm going to have 1 half x, and then it's dashed and it's shaded up, so it's y greater than. So that's that equation. Okay, right here, let's do this line first. I'm going to dot the y-intercept. My y-intercept is 4. That means I'm going to have a plus 4 in the equation. And then this one here goes from here to here. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 1, 2, or 2, 4. It goes down 10 over 4. So it's going to be negative 10 over 4, which is going to be negative 5 over 2 in it. So I'm going to have negative 5 over 2x. This line's solid, and it's shaded down. So less than or equal to y. Then right here, dot your y-intercept, which is going to be negative 2. So I know my b's negative 2. I'm going to have negative 2 at the end. This line right here, here's a dot, and it's going right through here. It goes down 2 over 4. So it's negative 2 over 4, which is going to be negative 1 half in it. I'll have negative 1 half x. And this line's dashed, and it's shaded up. So y is greater than. Okay, now then we're going to use them to see if they're solutions. 2 comma 0. 2 comma 0 is right here. That is on a solid line. That is a solution to 21. Okay. So put 21 right here. 2 comma 0. 2 comma 0 is right here. It's in the order pair, or it's in the shaded part. It's an answer to 22. And then 2 comma 0 is right here. It's not an answer to 23. Let's do 4 comma 0. 4 comma 0 is right here. Won't work in 21. 4 zero is right here. It's on the dash line. It won't work. And 4 comma 0 is right here. It won't work in this one. This will be none of them. Let's do negative 4, 0. Negative 4, 0 is right here. Won't work. Negative 4, 0 is right here. It won't work. Negative 4, 0 is here. It's on not a solid line, a dashed line. It doesn't work in any of them. And then lastly, 0, negative 2. 0, negative 2 is right here. It works in 21. 0, negative 2 is right here, but it's on a dashed line. It won't work. And 0, negative 2 is right here. It's on a dashed line. It won't work. So just 21 on that one.